Hello, this is CCSG Corp, and we will be demonstrating how to perform a password recovery and a firmware update for DVRs HA-442B and HA-842B. For HA-442B and HA-842B, you may enable User Privilege Control to enter the Setup menu, but should you forget your password at any time, you will be able to enter in a universal key to bypass this. Enter in the following key into the password space. 8, 6, 2, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5. This is the universal key. Keep the user space blank and click Apply. This will take you to the main menu. Once you are in the main menu, go to Miscellaneous System Setup, and then System Maintenance. Click on Load Default. Check the Select All box, and then click Apply. Click OK, and this will restore the factory configuration. From here, you will be able to create a new password. Once created, we recommend that you store your password in a secure place. Sometimes latest firmware updates may enable you to use certain features that are unavailable with earlier versions. This will require you to perform a firmware update. To update your firmware, right-click anywhere on the screen and then click on Main Menu. Click on Miscellaneous System Setup, and then Product Information or System Information to check the latest version of your firmware. If you have a later version that you wish to install, store your firmware update into a flash drive. Double check with your user manual to ensure that your flash drive is compatible with this unit. If your drive is compatible, insert your flash drive into the front USB port of the unit. Click on HDD Management, and then click on USB Disk Info to check to see if everything is working properly. If the information shows zero, that will mean that your flash drive is either unrecognized and incompatible with this unit, or it is corrupt. If your flash drive is recognized, click on System Maintenance, and then Firmware Upgrade. A warning will show you how long the firmware update will take. Make sure that you do not turn off the power of your unit or pull out the flash drive while the update is taking place, or else your system will crash. Click OK to start the update. Once the update is finished, check to see that everything has been installed properly. Right-click anywhere on the screen and go to Main Menu again. Click on Miscellaneous System Setup, and then Product or System Information. And check to see if the firmware version is updated. If it has not been updated, double-check the file on your flash drive and redo the firmware update. That's it! Thank you for watching.